Right, welcome to the preview of Makulu Linux 6.0 KDE edition. As you can see, standard login page. Um, I'll let you see how quick it is. Oh, that's a standard login uh, boot screen. Let's give it a second. There we go. I'm inside KDE and I'm inside VirtualBox. I'm actually just going to uh, make this full screen. Um, okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, not not too slow with booting in a virtual machine. It's actually much faster on hardware. Um, okay, so we've kept basically the traditional desktop environment. Um, no longer use a variety in KDE. It's got some issues and I'm kind of tired of having to always work around their issues. If the developers don't want to, well, clearly they don't want to support KDE, then... Uh, I don't quite see the point because it's just going to keep causing problems down the road. Um, and I have enough on my plate as is. So remove the variety. So there is no more quotes on the desktop on KDE. Um, it removed the digital clock as well, but I found a really nice clock widget, which basically has the same look. So that's that's from the desktop. Um, we use the folders view. You know, we've got a twin view going on here, two folders. Um, one is, of course, your home folder. Um, the other is, of course, a sort of little custom folder with some shortcuts that we've made. Um, sort of handy shortcuts, which is quite nice. As you can see, there's a lot more transparency in the new KDE. The, the folders are all see-through. The clock is obviously see-through. The panel bar at the bottom is transparent. Um, we now have the same as the other builds, a dual menu system, with the Lancelot menu being on the left which is also pretty much transparent um, and then we've got um, on the right we've got the uh, home run home run launcher which is uh, pretty much the one the launch we used in the previous version of KDE also transparent so we've got a similar kind of setup that we do with the other distributions with the dual menu system some will prefer home run others will prefer launch a lot um, it's easy to remove these should you wish to. I mean, um, you can just pretty much click there and remove home run or whatever. Um, everything else is pretty much standard in KDE. You've got your notifications and your network and your devices and your sound. Um, you've got the traditional shortcuts that we usually put in the bottom bar, which is your file manager, web browser, terminal, software manager, and your system updates. Um, in this build, we've removed a lot of the software. So this build will be about 1.4, 1.5 gigabytes in size, which is about 600 megs, usually smaller than what uh, we used, what it usually is. KDE is a um, more intense um, operating uh, distribution, therefore it's usually slightly larger than the rest. So we were looking at about 1.92 gigabytes for this release. But uh, what we've come up with now is the concept of removing everything beforehand um, well a lot of the stuff a lot of the extras and stuff I mean there's still software in here just not bloated and then uh, the first time you actually run Makulu after setup you are actually presented with a uh, post installation wizard and in this wizard as you can see it's been rewritten as well very nice very neat um, you've got an option here of install additional recommended software. Um, by default, that is ticked. If you tick that, it will download about 200 and odd megs of uh, um, well, software will download and it will extract it and it will install everything. It will take up about an additional six, seven hundred megs of space, and that will put all the normal software that the guys are used to in Makulu. It will pretty much put everything back into Makulu, but. Um, for those that uh, prefer to load their own software, it does come excluding all of that. Um, pretty much what we've put in is just a uh, browser. We've put in a browser. Nitro Share is in there. Um, under the multimedia, we've got K3 Burning, um, which is K3B, which is awesome. Audacious. Everybody uses that. A VLC player. Um, but none of the extras. You know, normal extras, because this list is usually quite long. That's all been removed. Under Office, you've pretty much got K-Mail, Contact, K-Organizer, and that's pretty much it. 
under graphics you got image magic for viewing pictures that's pretty much it under games you got um, ultras play on linux flobio um, and then one or two other games but i mean there's there's nothing extreme on on there there's no real actual bloatware um, that's all been pretty much removed so i'm pretty sure that will make a couple of guys happy um, yeah and apart from that uh, we've gone completely with a whole new look um, the panels transparent the window borders are transparent as you can see very very awesome the widgets are transparent um, the theme we've we've used the GTK theme and I know a lot of people ask why use GTK I mean it's so old and it's like so unlike KDE but I mean why not it, it's an awesome theme it's it's sleek it gives that carbon look that I just cannot get any of the GTK themes uh, any of the the the, the other um, style themes to use and uh, no matter how much I try it's just you know GTK just does it so nicely and that's pretty much why and of course another reason is we'd like to keep the standard look between the distributions and this Dolorean theme um, you know has become standard in Makulu we use it everywhere I mean you can choose another style you can um, you can change that yourself I mean there's you know KDE is highly configurable you can change anything you want but when you get it you know off off the bat this is what you're gonna get you're gonna get this highly polished uh, almost uh, charcoal carbon kind of look with uh, very very awesome you know with your transparent borders and uh, I mean even synaptic package manager I remember opening that on the previous build and it looked kind of horrible so I spent a lot of time on polishing that you know um, just give that a second to load there you go I mean look how pretty that is I mean that's not every day you see a distribution looking that polished that you know that wow that's awesome it's a complete almost carbon fiber look and even even the pop-up borders share that look you know it's it's a lot of work has gone into um, making things work but anyway um, so pretty much this is the new uh, this is the new uh, KDE 6.0 I haven't spent uh, uh, too much time well I'm in virtual box at the moment so I can't really turn on the desktop effects but I do have some some effects that are enabled not too many there's a zoom fall apart K screen magic lamp um, screen edge screenshot uh, taskbar thumbnails um, translucency wobbly windows you know these will not work inside um, virtual box so you know I kind of can't show that off at the moment but um, as you can see there's many more to to tick and to configure and go crazy with um, I'm not too worried about the effects because I know the users will enable that or disable as they see fit you can get new effects as well um, the point point of this video was not to make it flashy but rather to just um, show off how neat and tidy the desktop looks you know um, we've also added a lot of uh, functionality you know a lot of actions um, in your service menu um, you've got your Dropbox all the Dropbox um, features you got compress as I mean and you got extract as well when you actually uh, right click on a on a compression file it will have all of this but extract you've got all your root functions you've got all your actions um, you know you can uh, open terminal send us email attachment create a project file you can open with um, you know all the standard stuff plus the extras so you know that's pretty much all in there and you can add more I mean you can download those services um the nice look here is with the pre previews on the left uh, i mean on the right and your uh, tree on the left with of course your toolbar at the bar at the, uh, your menu bar at the top you know which is something that most people don't enable but i did as well as your um sort of buttons you know um, preview buttons over there more menu buttons just below that you've got a shade between a very darker charcoal kind of uh, graphite look to a more sort of a lighter gray in the middle um, icons are easy to see and of course we've always used the buff or buff whatever however you pronounce it 
we use that uh, theme that's become our standard Imakulu and it's a brilliant theme looks very amazing um, so yeah this is the first test build of Makulu Linux KDE 6.0 the very first test build now we usually go through quite a few test builds over a matter of weeks um, I don't think we'll actually wait that long because everything seems to be so polished um, but uh, this is the first test build so don't take everything literal I mean things do change the testers come back and they say this isn't working or they don't like this look or why don't I try that you know so they actually have a lot of influence as well because they are also end users um, but yeah this is the pretty much the first first build so you guys can see what's what's gonna be up and coming your way um, very awesome I'm very very happy with this look I mean this is just this is just awesome I don't think there's actually a, a KDE build out any out there anywhere that actually looks this great you know and feels as great and as you can see everything's snappy I click on something and, and it's literally just I mean I'm inside a virtual box with a gig of RAM and that's not much for KDE and uh, you know this is a laptop CPU nothing special so when I click something usually in a KDE build you know there's usually like a couple of second delay this is this is quick you know it's snappy um, which is good too because I, I really focused on speed a lot I wanted it to be fast not just work but also be fast um, so yeah that's pretty much uh, it from me for KDE um, this should be coming to you guys soon after the next few test builds who knows but um, yeah this is Jacques from Makulu Linux signing out